Hello friends, it's Harit from Bonsai Labs. Today I will show you how you can get the value from a select drop-down component provided by Material UI. I will open up the code sandbox and create a sandbox from official React template. Then I will add a dependency of Material UI core to it. Let me increase the font size so that you can see the code properly as I write. I will change the heading text to test if the output updates as I write the code. I will now add the import for select and menu item components from Material UI core. These two components will form the crux of our drop-down select menu. Then for the render, I will replace this H2 tag with the select component. Within the select component, I will add a menu item with a value of 10 and display as TEN. I will copy this line a few times and add a few more numbers to it. With that, we can see a drop-down and four menu items inside it. Great. But as you can see, this menu item looks odd. It should ideally have a label that tells us what this select dropdown is all about. For that, I will import two more components from Material UI Core called Form Control and Input Label. We will use Form Control component to wrap our select component. This is so that within the same Form Control, we can add input label called Numbers that displays on select dropdown. All right, it shows up. But see how the text overlaps with the drop-down icon? We must add styles to fix the issue. I will import make styles from Material UI core so that I can add styles. Next, I will create a constant called use styles and call make styles. Within this higher order component, I will pass the theme so that we can use it in the styling if we want to. I will add a new style object called form control and assign a min width property with a value of 100. To apply this style, I will call useStyles method inside our app component and call it classes. Then on the form control component, I will add a class name attribute and assign it a value of classes.formControl. With that, we can now see that the select component looks nicer with the label. Now as I select the values from the dropdown, how do I get the selected value? I will add a p tag where I would like to display the selected value, but how do I get that? We need to keep the value of the selected value in state so that we can use it later. First, I will add import for use state from React. Next, I will add a new state variable called value and a method called set value that I get from calling use state method and provide empty string as the initial value. Then, I will add an attribute called onChange on select component. This onChange needs a function, so I will add a new method called handleChange which receives an event e and calls setValue method passing the events target value. The e.target.value contains the value of the selected menu item. I will pass handle change to on change. Also, to see what's selected, all we need to do is display the value variable's value. Now, as I select the different menu items, we can see different selected numbers below. Fantastic. So next time you use the select dropdown component, you know how to get the value from it. If you like us to cover more topics or questions, leave the comment below and we would add them to our future videos. Keep creating good things and see you next time.